What's up, guys? Back with another one. I'm Ryan, my man George. What's up, guys? How you living out there? Las Vegas, coming back at you with the unbiased real reaction. That's right, man. Shout out to all free thinkers, of course. Yeah, man. Our patrons, another early access video. That's right, man. Yeah, man. Overkill's who we're gonna get to today. Yeah. Man, feel the fire. Feel the fire. Um, let's let's keep it real, man. We yeah. went through the comment section, pretty much focused on the comment section for this uh this song choice. For YouTube. For YouTube. Mm -hmm. Um I, it seemed like Field of Fire. Every time we saw Field of Fire, we saw a lot of upvotes for it. Yeah, it was a lot of those. You know, not saying that this was dominating, um, but it just seemed to just get more upvotes than every other song. Right. Um, a couple honorable mentions were Ironbound, From yeah. the Gutter. What else do we have here? Spiritual Void. And it just kind of got went all over the place from there, man. It wasn't really anything that seemed to have right. as much uh, domination, man. Um, or as much upvotes, I should say, as yeah. Field of Fire. Let me see if I can mention one more here. You know, um, bitter pill. Yeah. You know, everybody's just picking their favorites. Hammerhead. Hammerhead. E Evil never dies. All different yeah. songs, no upvotes. So, Fill the Fire is the song we're choosing. Um, that's it. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully <laughs> this is a good choice. So we know that Overkill is part of that thrash uh, crop. You know, of uh, of bands in the '80s. It looks like they've been you know doing a thing here since 1980. Man, they're in a the crop through our trusty metal map here just saying that they were they kind of came around the same time Metallica came mm -hmm. saying they were with Exodus and, and Pantera. Pantera Megadeth so they're in that crop yep. you know what I mean and we know this is thrash and we typically like thrash yeah you know what I'm saying so, so I'm excited let's get into it uh, Overkill Feel the Fire I like the tempo too. Like the tempo, pace is good. So, uh, eat through the mounds of steel, sift through the metal, belly full, another deal. Stopping would be fatal, right? Round and round spins the 45. Is it vinyl or a bullet? One kills, right? One to kill, one keeps alive. One keeps you alive, one kills you. Get on your knees and suck it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I think what they're saying is here is kind of a play on words between uh, music and a physical bullet, right? Metal, like metal, right? The metal you know? from a gun, but the but metal music and stopping either one of them could be fatal, right? Because you know, bullet kills and obviously stopping music could be fatal, you know, emotionally. Yeah, you know, so maybe maybe that's kind of where they're going with that. Maybe feel the fire is like feel the fire of hell. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? If, if the bullet comes, if, if the bullet gets you, you're going to hell. Who knows? Yeah. Or feel the fire also, right? Maybe a double entendre. Feel the fire of the power of metal of music. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it going. Yeah, they are. They're playing that constantly. 
Dude, the they have not they have not uh, slowed down at all. The temples are crazy, but this line right here threw me off. He was like, "No one cried when it was over. Your life it had no meaning." <laughs> God damn! Quickly lost all feelings. You had warnings. You had time. Well, that was all you gave it. Said one day you'd be mm. mine. Your life you couldn't mm. save it. Man, is this like speaking from the the, the perspective of the devil? Yeah, because I know in, uh, up top we were kind of thinking that it was like field of fires, like in you're in hell, right? Field of fire of hell. It looks like that's what they said too, right? Prepare for your new life. Satan waits. Yep. <laughs> waits tonight. Yeah, man. Thrash. This feels like yeah, straight it does. Up it old does. school thrash. Because it, it is straight up old school thrash, obviously. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they are definitely playing their asses off. I love the drumming, the tempo of this. Yeah, me too. Digging it. Let's keep it going. <laughs> Thrash, man. Yeah. It, I like the speed in Thrash. I like mm -hmm. the pace. And I like the, the tones of the guitars in Thrash to me. Just it's tuned tune differently. Metal. Yeah. yeah, it's tuned differently. It's, it has a different sound. It just feels like sinister and more mean. Yeah. It just feels like the heart of metal. I feel like Thrash to me, from what I've heard, just if I could yeah. just say, if I could pick a genre that, you know, that embodies the heart of metal, it feels like Thrash yeah. to me. Yeah. I could be completely wrong. But that's when I think of metal, I think of thrash first. From the outside looking in, from a person that hasn't grown up listening to it my whole life, yep. that's what it sounds like, yep. right? If I was going to say what metal sounds like, I would say this is metal. I would, I would hear this and be like, yeah, metal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Nah, 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 nah. Mm -hmm. these, these mean, sinister riffs, the, the, fast, the faster pace of it. Yep. You know, I, I don't know, man. Just to me. So yeah, definitely like the transition as well, man. That transition was mean. And they're altering the, the tempo a little bit too yep. throughout the transition. Yep. Yeah, like, bum, bum. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, dope. Let's keep it going.
tired after that. Performing that song, they got busy. Crazy. Now that is shredding. Yes. I liked every- All the way through. Dude, I, everybody in this song got crazy to me. Yeah. I like, even the vocalist, man, just some of the notes he was hitting, some of the, the notes he was belting out. Yeah. You know what I mean? I thought it was really good. I thought it, it really seemed to fit well with the theme. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yes, absolutely. Um, I love the shredding, the solo was Very incredible. aggressive. Very aggressive. I think the riffs were mean and yep. sinister. I thought the, the tempo was, was super fast and energetic and it was like adrenaline filled. This and song was just, it, was it, great song. it had a lot. It had a lot to, to desire, right? I mean, it had a little bit of everything, right? If, if you are looking at a metal song of objectively, right? And you're like, what did this song give you? It gave you everything. It gave you the full spectrum of music, I thought, when you're looking at uh when you look at metal in yeah, its man. entirety. I agree. Now this is one of the songs that I would I think live would be crazy. Yeah, we had the pleasure of going to a Mastodon and a Primus concert and that was just crazy. So I think seeing that this live would be like amazing. Some somebody play that because it's just the tempo and I would just assume that you would be like ridiculously tired after yeah. after playing something like this. I think this would be like a your your final song of the night. Let's get let's get busy. I don't want to start no shit up in the comments. Go ahead, man. But the big four, man. You know what I'm saying? Like like yo, they need to have a, a big five or some shit, man. Let's <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's throw Overkill in here. I don't need to hear anything more. I don't know how this couldn't be a great introduction to Overkill. I yeah. think that this is a great, this was a great introduction into this I think band. So too. I feel like, I don't know, but I just have a feeling, it's a gut feeling that if I wanted to know what Overkill was capable of, I think this is a good song to showcase yep. this band. Absolutely. Now we could be wrong, it, it, yep. it, there could be people bitching in the comments, right, as I'm speaking right now, <laughs> but I really feel that this was a really good showcase of this band, man. I, I think, so think too. it had everything. I do think that uh, it's a travesty. That um the it's suffering from produ yeah. the production they, of the they, 80s. It's just it's unfortunate, man. Yeah, they're hindered by the production of their time. It is. They it are. is because they it, are. it just sounds. It, I knew it just sounds. Really yeah, that's where I'm going. Yeah. It's just tough, man. Yeah. You know we. You know don't get me wrong. We 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 some we not like young whippersnappers anymore. You know what I'm saying? But we did grow up in a time where technology kind of advanced. So to you know, our, our ears have been wired for a certain level of, of, of uh, mastering in the music, Correct. And engineering in the music. Yeah. So when we hear something old, like Ryan has said, I think he said this in a Rush video, it's like seeing an old movie that's a famous, classic old movie. It's yep. tough when you've grown up, yep. you know, with 1080p, you yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> to go watch Star Wars, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the early Star Wars. Like, <laughs> it's just tough. And that's, it's super tough. And that's super the thing tough. that I think um, fails on this song. If I can get a mastered copy of this, a remastered copy, mm -hmm. it'd be playlist. But because it's just, it just sounds so, um, clouded and, and muffled to me. Mm -hmm. It just would be tough for me to go back to this. But this is definitely a great metal song. So that's the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And also, guys, check out our Patreon channel. It will allow you to get early access to our content. The link will be in the description. I'm George. That's Ryan. Lost in Vegas. We, we out. out.